To describe our Glenn School of Public Affairs here at The Ohio State University, I go back to sort of our motto or our, our mantra, which uh, our general purpose is to inspire citizenship and develop leadership. Inspiring citizenship and developing leadership. And we seek to do that by engaging citizens, public officials, public service professionals, and the nonprofit and public sectors. The goal of the school is to become a comprehensive, world-class school of public affairs engaged in research, education, training, and technical assistance. What makes the students unique is their commitment to making a difference in the world. They choose public affairs as a field because they want to influence the kind of society that we live in. They care about social issues or they care about injustice that they see. So the exciting thing about public affairs as a field is the ability to bring about change and to mold the world to be the kind of place that they really think it ought to be. Here at the Glenn School, you know, we offer just a wide range of public service degrees. So if we have students who come in with interest in nonprofit management, um, we have students with particular policy um, interests. Um, so we're usually able to meet it through our MPA program, which is our Master of Public Administration. We also offer an INCUR MA, which is a Master of Arts in Public Policy and Management. And that's really just an excellent program because it offers some flexibility for some professionals who are actually out there in the field wanting to come back and get a degree as well. Students are able to come in and they're going to study policy, they're going to get management, they're going to take classes in public sector economics, and then they're also going to take some classes in decision support systems. So our students really get kind of that good foundation in their first year while here on the program. And then in their second year, they get the opportunity to explore, you know, electives or maybe think about doing a dual degree or, you know, adding a graduate minor. So really kind of tailoring the program to meet their interests. Most of our students complete an internship, whether it's you know, here in Columbus or through our Washington Academic Internship Program. There's just a ton of opportunities with our MPA degree. We also have a number of dual degree programs. Right now we have over eight. So we have a program right now with Fisher College of Business. We have one with our law school, social work, public health. We have a joint degree with art education. We have a program with city and regional planning and a number of other dual degrees as well. Well, the John Glenn School, in terms of our students, is just growing rapidly. We're attracting high-quality students from around the country, students in California and Georgia, um, as well as students here in the state of Ohio. So we're really fortunate to have students interested in our programs from all over the country and actually all over the world. Here at the Glenn School, we also have a brand new undergraduate major in public affairs. Even in its first year of existence, the major has already become incredibly popular with students. More students declare the major every day. Students do it as part of dual degree programs with other majors on campus. Students are changing majors. It's really exploding. This major really looks at the link between service and policy and the difference that one person can make in a uh, democratic society. It has elements of government and politics, elements of economics and finance, elements of management and leadership, and elements of budgeting and policy analysis. In addition to the core curriculum, students also have the opportunity to specialize in an area of policy that's of interest to them. A student is passionate about nonprofit organizations or wants to be involved in local government later on or uh, wants to be a community organizer after graduation, they can do that. If students have interest in other policy areas, ag education policy or economic access or environmental policy or security policy, they have the opportunity to craft the program to fit their needs. Glenn School faculty continues to grow, uh, and as we grow, uh, we continue to adhere to our commitment to bring in faculty who are adept at integrating uh, their knowledge born of research with their practical experience so that we can both contribute to the enhancement of uh, knowledge but also so that we can take what we know here in the Glenn School and apply it in a public sector context to make meaningful differences uh, in, in the lives of Ohio citizens. One of our newest faculty members, uh, Marty Luby, 
who has 10 years as an investment banker and a financial consultant uh, at the municipal level, uh, has developed a new line of research on a variety of public sector financial uh, instruments that will prove of great value to public sector financial professionals at the state and local level. Another one of our junior faculty members, Stephanie Moulton, uh, has used her research on the home mortgage crisis to provide advice, counsel, and guidance to the Ohio Housing Finance Association. This project with the Ohio Housing Finance Agency that I'm working on allows us to do two things. It allows us to develop a new product for Ohio Housing Finance Agency to increase the mortgage sustainability of their borrowers, to help them not default on their loans. But for research, it also allows us to do something we've never done before, which is to evaluate through a field experiment the relative effectiveness of different types of interventions, um, education and counseling on borrower outcomes. These are examples uh, of the, the types of faculty that we bring in that look to both integrate knowledge across various fields and then ultimately apply it uh, in ways that are meaningful to, to people in their lives. The John Glenn School of Public Affairs has operations that range far outside of Columbus, Ohio. In Washington, D.C., we run something called the Washington Academic Internship Program. Every quarter, about a dozen to 15 or even 20 students come to Washington, D.C. and work with me and with my colleague uh, to find them an appropriate internship. Uh, sometimes we place people in congressional offices. Uh, sometimes we find them work at uh, think tanks in the area, and sometimes they end up in nonprofit organizations. Well, in recent years, we've actively pursued a partnership with the DC Alumni Club that has resulted in a regular series of policy forums uh, held here in Washington. While we're doing all this, we try to keep our finger on the pulse of the federal government. Federal relations to us means monitoring the activities of the federal government. It also means looking for career or job opportunities for Ohio State alums. Uh, increasingly, in the future, I think it's going to mean uh, it providing educational opportunities for people who are in the, the federal service. I'm Ellie Valentine. I'm the director of the Parliamentary Development Project, which is working here in Ukraine. I'm in Kiev, the capital of Ukraine, and I'm standing in front of our primary partner, the Verkhovna Rada of Ukraine, the Supreme Council, the Parliament of Ukraine. The Parliamentary Development Project has been working here since 1994. And since 2008, the Glenn School has been the implementing partner of this project that's funded by USAID. And now our job is to work not only with the Verkhovna Rada, but to also work with the government, the cabinet of ministers, in making sure that the policies and the laws that are made are serving the people of Ukraine. So we're working here with a team of specialists and experts who are Ukrainians. Uh, we have the help of the Glenn School in helping us direct our, our assistance. We work with the committees of the, of the Verkhovna Rada. This is one of the committee buildings. So one of the things that we're working with the Verkhovna Rada on is, is how to make the processes of the legislature more transparent so that people can be more involved in them. That includes information about the parliament. Even something as simple as having excursions um, to this wonderful historic building from 1934. Um, that was one of the outcomes of the project um, that we're kind of proud of. The public policy problems facing the state of Ohio, or the nation for that matter, are not easily classified into silos of knowledge or expertise. Prior to the creation of the Glenn School, there really was no one school or organization within the Ohio State University that was capable of bringing the various areas of knowledge together to address the real problems that Ohio and the nation face. The school really seeks to bring together 
the faculty and staff of The Ohio State University from a variety of venues to address these kinds of public policy problems. In the Secretary of State's office, we're engaged in a first-of-its-kind project, which is Better Lives, Better Ohio. And part of that project involves a scoring of criteria of indicators of quality of life in the state of Ohio. So the Glenn School's been very helpful to us in actually determining a methodology for computing and evaluating that criteria so that we can actually score a quality of life here in the state of Ohio. Dr. Greenbaum has helped us with the, the formulas that we need that will give us some credibility in academic circles. And uh, he's also been a great partner in actually testifying on our behalf regarding rules that will make this project a permanent part of what we do in state government to evaluate uh, life in Ohio as we know it. The beauty of the John Glenn Alumni Program that we have is the width and breadth of all of the different alumni programs. We have uh, not only the master's degree programs, but we also have our John Glenn High School Internship Program, our Washington DC Outreach Program, and all of these are part of the John Glenn School and they all help to make this wonderful rich blend of expertise that not only is going to enhance the learning of our current students, but is also going to be there for the future students as well. And by the same token, all of these efforts combined with the skills and expertise of the John Glenn faculty provides continuing learning educational opportunities for our alums. So it's a, it's a great way to bring alums back to the school and give back to them as they are also sharing their expertise and skills and actual job knowledge with our current students and with the future students. It's really the best of both worlds. Well, I've really enjoyed teaching at the Glenn School and interacting with the students. Uh, it's an incredibly valuable resource for Ohio because you have a lot of students who are coming in, getting the skills to go back into public service, some of whom have already been in government and are improving their skill level, uh, others of whom uh, you know, are coming to the school to learn about public service. Given the problems that we have today that we face as a state and as a country, it's more important than ever that we have people willing to go into public service who are skilled and have the kind of leadership capabilities that the Glenn School teaches. It gave me a, a much broader knowledge about um, how government is administered, about the executive branch. It, it made me understand budgeting better. It made me understand sort of collaboration better. It gave me an understanding of local, state, federal better than I would have had without it. Uh, and it, it gave me exposure to you know, very bright people who were teaching me and very bright people who were in the classroom with me. And I, I would, um, I, I think that, you know, people come to government from different routes, but one of the best routes is, is coming to the Glenn School. One of the best routes is a, a degree, undergraduate, master's, whatever, in public administration, because that really does train you to be a public administrator. So it's a very broad gauge program we have here, both domestically uh, at the local, the state, and the federal level. Uh, it's a program that's expanding and uh, one of which we're very proud of. With that, I hope that whets your interest a little bit into looking into more of what we're all about here. Inspiring citizenship and developing leadership.